This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is batch classification. Okay, so the, the topics that we are going to cover, they are in batch classification. We will see what is batch classification, batch classification overview, data required for batch classification, what data we need to create in the system to have the batch classification, we will see. Then creation of characteristics, we will create the characteristics in the system, types of characteristics, what are the different types of characteristics. Then creation of class, batch class, we will create the batch class in the system. Then assignment of characteristics to the class, okay then assignment of batch class to the material and then batch valuation with characteristics so once we create all the data how to evaluate a batch using these characteristics we will understand this okay so basically first we'll start with the batch classification okay we'll understand here what is classification what is batch classification basically okay so basically you can classify the batches so in the previous sessions we discussed about batch management we understood what is batch okay what is a batch how to manage the batches how to create the batches okay how the batch numbering happens all those things we understood in the previous session so now in this session we are under we are we are trying to discuss on the classification of the batches how to let's say a material is having 10 batches okay how to select those batches which are having similar features similar attributes so we are classifying them based on certain features that is called classification for example you can use the batch classification functionality to store specific batch data which is not contained in the batch master record okay so suppose it's i want to store some information about the batch like substance content okay like potency assay or weight or other some technical data okay so that is maintained in the batch master record uh, which is not maintained in the batch master record that is maintained using batch classification okay so this classification can be used to describe or group objects together that have some likeness but also have differences so basically classification means you you want to classify those batches you want to group those batches okay which are having similar similar features similar attributes so for that you use the classification okay classification of batches is mandatory if you want to use the batch determination features feature so this batch determination we will discuss in the subsequent class next class next session so to have this batch determination you should have the classification classification of the batches okay the specification for a batch master record is based on a batch classification and the attributes are stored as characteristic values so basically all these batch related specifications attributes like color weight let's say weight potency viscosity all these batch specifications are stored as characteristic values okay i will show you this in the system for batch management to function correctly classification data must be prepared to include the corresponding batch specification so if you want to use batch management fully fully and then you should use normally batch specifications that is nothing but batch classification okay so here you see this you have the batches you have the batches batch specifications the one which i just explained those are assigned those are maintained in the form of characteristics characteristics and these characteristics will be assigned to the class so this class will be assigned with the characteristic and this class will be assigned to the batch will be there in the batch okay so this is how the batch management and the classification system will work okay so so this is how you suppose let's say you have a material you have a material that is handled in batches that is handled in batches 
okay so now you want to store some information some attributes specification about this material like its viscosity its wavelength or its some coverage and other things okay so those things you maintain using the classification using the classification okay so in the each batch each batch of that material you maintain those uh, specifications using characteristics with the help of classification functionality so each batch can have its own specifications here, here if you see batch c1 is having viscosity as 175 centipoints batch c2 same material batch c2 having its viscosity 174 centipoints and batch c3 having the viscosity 170 centipoints different batches are having different specifications different specifications so this specification information you can maintain in the batch using this classification classification okay so let me just go to the system and i'll show you a batch where the classification data will be available let's suppose let me let me take a batch I'll take the material which we are using all the time. I'll take a raw material. Suppose if you take this raw material, nitric acid. Suppose if you take this, let me go to its stock overview. Execute. Okay, so we have some badges here. If you see, if you some bad, you have some badges. Suppose let's I'll take this batch. I'll go to the display batch MSC3. Okay. So this is a material, and the batch is this one, 136. <clears throat> okay. So let me enter the batch. Plant is triple zero. Enter. So here, if you see, there is a third tab called classification basic data one basic data two and then you have classification so as of now the classification data is not made okay so now in this session we will maintain the classification data how to set up the classification data we will see so this is this is the place where you maintain the classification data including using class characteristics and everything so this we are discussing today okay so let's continue so first we'll discuss about characteristics and types of characteristics okay so here we will understand what is characteristics okay what are the different types of characteristics available in the system okay so what is a characteristic a characteristic describes specification of an object such as length width weight color so these things these things are called characteristics suppose let's say you have a solution liquid solution liquid so for the liquid what you will measure its color what you will check its color odor okay its ph value okay its potency assay or its viscosity so those things okay suppose let's say you have a box you have a box for box what you will check you will check its length width okay and weight so those things so these are called characteristics characteristics are nothing but specifications okay characteristics or criteria according to which you can search for badges okay this i will show it in the system these characteristics are defined when creating a class so before creating a class you have you need to create these characteristics characteristics are nothing but specifications attributes like color okay uh, order okay i'm just giving example if, if it is a boxes length width those kind of things okay when classifying a batch you define one or more values for each characteristic so once once the batches are created if you want to classify a batch you have to assign the values to these characteristics okay so the first step in the in the classification is you need to create the characteristics the step is step one create characteristics characteristics okay the t code is ct04 
we will create the characteristics next if the characteristic is a field from the batch master record the value of this field is automatically used as the characteristic value i will show you this in a second suppose let's say this characteristic is already a field in the batch master record suppose let's say there is a one called expiry see try to recollect our uh, previous session if, if you go to basic data one there is a date of manufacturing there is a date of expiry so these are already the batch master fields so then for them you don't have to uh, what do you call for them the value system will automatically assign i will show you this okay so now broader level there are two types of characteristics one is user defined we can create our own characteristics another one is the fields in the batch master record the one which i just explained show, show you okay so this one fields means these are the ones like date of manufacturing date of expiry or or gr date so these things these things are batch fields okay so there are two types of characteristics so now first we'll start with user defined characteristics these are the characteristics which are not defined as fields in the batch master record okay like the examples active ingredient potency viscosity color okay whereas the fields in the batch master record the one which i showed you just now like good receipt date shelf life expiration date so those kind of things okay so now let's continue so now we will talk about types of characteristics before creating the characteristics in the system 